Can you permanently unlock your drone to remove no-fly zones, altitude limitations, and even unlock FCC mode? Yes, that is possible with drone hacks. They reached out and informed me they have several exciting updates lined up for the following drone models. But they are not the only drones that are currently supported. Drone hacks covers most of the DJI drones that you can imagine. I do want to throw in a disclaimer early on in the video. You need to do this at your own risk, as some of the hacks might violate the local regulations. Personally, the extra range that you get from the FCC mode is not something that I really need and might not be legal where you are currently located. However, I see the real value in being able to disable the no-fly zones, as DJI often gets this wrong inside the app. And in reality, it's not their business to regulate that. It's your business, and by the end of the day, you are the responsible person for not flying into these no-fly zones. Also, for those flying away from urban areas with the C0 drone, it might be useful to be able to disable the 120 meter altitude limitation from the takeoff point, especially if you are climbing hills or mountains. I know this has been really frustrating to some of you, and upgrading your Mini to a C1 drone might be really inconvenient, as it triggers a whole new set of regulations, at least inside the EU. By the release of this video, Drone Hacks has made it available that you can enable the hacks individually. So you don't need to do them all at once. This version was not available when recording this video, so for this demonstration, it will be all or nothing. I'll be using the DJI Air 3 for this demonstration. Let me show you how easy it is and how it works. First, we need to check the firmware compatibility. Download the Drone Hacks version 2 software from the Drone Hacks website, following the link in the description. Make sure that your model is listed as compatible with the Drone Hacks version 2. Note, this software is only available for Windows. Mac is not supported. Log into your account within the software and select the option called Drone, leading you to the main interface. Ensure that the DJI Assistant 2 software is closed and not running in the background while the drone is plugged in, as it will interfere with the communication. You can see the drone has been successfully connected through the status bar in the top of the software. Once your drone is identified, go to the license management and click on purchase new license. The website will now automatically verify if your firmware version is compatible and it will display only compatible hacks. After purchasing your license, the first thing that you need to do is to bind your license to your drone by pressing confirm. Very important. Once bound, the license cannot be transferred. If you choose to unregister the license later, it will be lost and cannot be reactivated. How to install the recommended firmware if required. Navigate to the modifications tab to see the available modifications. If the hack requires a different firmware version, the software will automatically select the correct one. Avoid using the firmware flasher, as you might end up selecting the incorrect firmware version, and that will ultimately prevent you from hacking the drone. Once the firmware flash is successful, proceed to the modification tab again. If you press the change lock, you will be able to see the modifications that are available, such as permanent no-fly zone removal, permanent altitude limit removal, permanent FCC mode. Then you will get a pop-up with the mandatory legal and operational disclaimers. I will, because I can't in this version of the software select them individually, just agree and continue. But as mentioned in the beginning of the video, right now the version that is available will allow you to apply them individually. So now the software is performing the modifications. Once it's completed, you will get a pop-up notification where you are being asked to wait for 30 seconds or so and then restart your aircraft. Let's just check if it has been applied. Reconnect the drone and then go on to the modification tab where you get to this screen. And here you can see if the modifications have been successfully applied. Verify FCC mode. On the main screen of the controller, you are being prompted with a new firmware and you should ignore that one for now. Then I go to the main flight screen and then jump under the three dots in the upper right corner and head to the transmission tab. And we need to check this horizontal line. It should be offset from the one kilometer mark if FCC mode is active. And this is the case. This is the easiest way to uh, verify if the modifications have been applied. And it will stay like that even if you reboot the drone, as long as you stay <laughs> on the current firmware version. So what if you don't like this and you want to get rid of it all? This is how you reverse the modifications. Shut down the controller and reconnect the drone to your PC. 
Under the modification tab, select the option to undo all modifications and press apply. Wait for the drone to do its thing, then reboot the drone to finalize. Let's verify the changes directly on the controller by checking the transmission tab again. The signal strength line should now align with the one kilometer mark, indicating the drone is back in CE mode. So that's fairly simple and straightforward. Since the license follows the drone, it can't be transferred. So consider creating your drone hacks account with a dummy email. In this way, you can sell the drone with the license, which would otherwise be a little bit complicated if you decide to use your own private email. I do want to mention this video is made in collaboration with Drone Hacks. If you find this topic interesting and want to see more videos about it, then let us know in the comments below. And as usual, if you like this video, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Bermelum.